All right, when you download the pack, you're gonna have this folder, and this is a portable MPV setup. It's got your EXE, your config folder, your scripts folder, your scripts options folder, and then um, all of the vapor synth folders, like your Rife models. I only have two, because those are the only ones that you actually need to have. Um, all the others are pointless and a waste of space. Um, your config, well, first the scripts. These are the Rife scripts. So this is what I recommend for a 3080 on Windows. Um, might be able to go higher. Put it on 001 because that gives you more range, at least between um, this value and this value before the script doesn't work. Uh, if it doesn't give you 60 FPS, that means that you need to change either this value or this value. Um, the division, the way the math works on that, sometimes it just bugs out and doesn't the script doesn't work anymore, so you will need to play with this value depending on your GPU. Um, when it, uh, The pack link that I'm going to give you is going to be shipped with the 980 Ti pre-configuration. I actually tested it on a 980 Ti um, ACX 2.0 from EVGA and it worked fine and it's around 480p. And it worked on most video files. I don't know about all of them, but most of them, it would it would run it. Um, so yeah, uh, this down here, oh, this is the interpolation model. You can change that to five and then just use two X if you want. But I recommend just keep everything the same, except for this and this. Um, these you just change on your GPU, uh, and also this um, if you want to target a different frame rate. This is your um, automatic FPS detection. So it's doing 24 by 2.5x, 25 by 2.4x, and then 30 by 2x to fit into 60, and then it ignores everything 47 and higher. And then, um, so you can just alter that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Down here, these are the vapor synth um, filter parameters. I changed it to B spline so that there'd be no ringing at all on the scaling but you can change that if you want to. Personally, I wanted zero aliasing and I've tested this even down to an 80 pixel high downscale. There's zero aliasing, it's just perfectly blurred. Um, yeah, up to you. And then this is for the HDR one. And this is the same, it's just gonna have a higher uh, or lower max zips to deal with the fact that higher bit rate stuff is harder to run. Even the, so just the resolution changing isn't the only thing that's gonna affect it. It's also the higher bit rate, the higher file size of the video is going to make it harder to run for the interpolation because there's more actual detail per pixel. Um, and this is for variable frame rates because variable frame rate video uh, messes up with this. So there's a tweak in the VFR version to uh, fix the audio video desync. Um, it's because the audio video desync for non-variable frame, frame rate fix that we did that uh, Alexor figured it out and I tested it because um, I'm the one that's using the 60 FPS where that happened doesn't happen on 2x uh, you have to revert that fix in order to for variable frame rate stuff like legend of the galactic heroes to run correctly so that's what this is for and then you obviously have the 120 fps preset the max zips can stay the same uh, except when you're no yeah it should be able to stay the same but i i th think i might have figured that it doesn't when you get into higher frame rates, so I changed it a little bit down here, but these aren't actually right. Uh, I will change those in the uh, to the 980 Ti preset in, in the version that I'm gonna link you. Um, clean all that up, but it's basically the same idea as the 60 FPS, except it's actually dealing with stuff that's 47 FPS and above. Um, it's interpolating 60 into 120 with Rife 2.3 here, and it's interpolating um, 50 into 120 and uh, 48 as well. And otherwise the script is the same. 
it's just the 120 FPS version. And the way that you switch between those is you go in the portable config folder and you go down here and you comment out all this or no, you, you comment in all this, you uncomment it. Um, and then you comment out the 60 FPS ones. Um, and all this stuff is set up for SDR versus HDR. So you've got your tone mapping. Um, this is set to the peak brightness of my OLED PVM. Um, so you'll need to change that for your specific monitor that you're on. If you have a colorimeter or any kind of light meter that measures in nits, then you can figure out the value that, that you have for this on max contrast or max OLED light or whatever. Um, that'll be your tone mapping. And you can also do like um, one dimensional LUTs from here uh, for each, like there's some movies like Pulse um, that have like messed up, uh, like the black, the black level's like really high throughout the whole movie. So you can opt to crush that out or change the gamma so that it is better looking. And I experimented with that. So in some cases, like, yeah, like Pulse or Trigun might want to do that. And so I put that in there so that you guys know how to do it. It's easy. Um, and here's all the scaling stuff. It's all set up for um, Beast Blind, as you can see here, um, by default. And I really recommend you leave that that way for the small scales and the down scales. But if you're having to do big scales, like 480p, to 1080p or 480p to 4K, you might want to experiment with something else like like Lanxos or um, Mitchell. Um, it says Mitchell here, but it's actually not because I changed the parameters. Or uh, one of the spline uh, setups. And then you can also test out the anti-ringing here um, if you're using one of those, right? That'll add like a blur on top, subtle blur on top to get rid of the ringing. Everything else, uh, you're not really going to change except maybe the video API based on your um, graphics card and leave the hardware decoding off unless you need it. Like if it just bugs out and it doesn't work, um, you're going to want to change that. And then here, the target primaries, you can change that to use an ICC profile, um, which is really good. If you have a nice ICC profile for your display that you know is all set up correctly, definitely be um, using that, yeah, for your color gamut. And then leave your monitor in the native gamut if you have that option. If it's a CRT, then you don't do anything. You just use the ICC profile. But if it's a modern monitor that has an sRGB mode, you're going to want to turn that off and put it in the native gamut if you're using that. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Uh, Did I explain how to run things? I don't think I did. Uh, you file associate this, this exe with the videos, all the video formats that you're gonna use. And you can also just drag video files onto it, or you can open up the mpv.exe, not this exe, uh, and drag files onto it, or just drag files onto it while it's open like that, and it should work. Yeah, see, it's played it again. Um, it's also set up with auto load and resume on quit. If you do not want resume on quit, then just comment that line out or delete it from the MPV config and it won't save the spot anymore. I like that though. So I can just close a file and not even remember where I was and then click it later and it's gonna be back to that point in the episode or whatever. Um, yeah, pretty much it. 